Hello, welcome everyone. My name is Rosa Maria Costa Cisneros and I am collaborating with the Independent Theatre Hungary. I am in the UK, but I'm sitting across from dear friends and I would say primitas y primitos y tías y tíos of, um, that are in Spain. I'm very happy to sit down with Sonia Carmona Tapia and Jaime Vicente Borges, who are uh, here to speak about the Profunda Dignitatis. Thank you so much for sitting down and sharing and talking about the work with us today. If we could start with you introducing yourselves, that'd be lovely. Well, great, thank you. Thank you for having thank us. Um, I am Sonia Carmona. I'm originally from Granada, even though I was born in Germany, in Köln, because my parents were emigrants there. Um, but I've also lived um, many places. I left um, for the US when I was 17 and came back um, when I was 21 and settled down in Sevilla where I live right now. I'm a theater director and an actress. That's lovely, very global, very a uh, lovely mix there, so many world views and perspectives. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. I love it. Yes, yes. Okay, my name is uh, Jaime, Jaime Vicente Borges. I'm a filmmaker from uh, the public television from Andalusia. And, uh, and I write uh, about theater, um, uh, diverse, uh, dramaturgies or whatever, texts, especially texts about theater. Yes, and it's a, a lovely kind of duo both of you have mm -hmm. here. And so if you could tell me a little bit about the work, um, De Profunda Dignitatis, it'd be great, if, because I'm not sure if everyone might have seen the work. So if you can just give us a little overview and then your own relationship with the work. Were you an actress in it or a writer or maybe both? Because oftentimes people are quite involved in the work in many ways. But do you want to start? Because he is the author. Yeah. Um, oh. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can set the volume a little bit higher because he says he doesn't hear too well. But basically, um, what they want to know is a little bit more about the Profunda Dignitas. Okay. So, Yes, this is a special text because um, this is not a uh, um, play about uh, historical um, life. Uh, this is the, the point uh, to begin and is uh, a different story. It's an intellectual and a mental process to get a new uh, stadium to understand this uh, psychological um, uh, lives mm. of two historical uh, characters. So this is an um, emotional trip. It very, it's very important for, uh, I think it's very important, <laughs> it's not the, uh, the reality perhaps, but it's, uh, I think it's a, a very important for the audience to understand this is not a, a biopic about two historical characters. It's an emotional trip about these two historical characters. And the characters are? And the characters are Emilia Fernandez, the fair gypsy woman, uh, beatified by the Vatican uh, in the because uh, she was a victim of uh, the uh, in the Spanish civil wars mm -hmm. a victim uh, from the regime of the Republican uh, government so uh, and the other character is uh, Gabriela Ortega is uh, represented uh, by the Franco's regime um, after this uh, civil Spanish civil war in the post war okay and it's a 
it's a process uh, uh, confronting this uh, to span Spain's uh, is more or less this one. This, yes, these two but, Spanish <laughs> strong Roma women yeah. that uh, in different uh, approaches they were both faced to a war that was not their war. Yes. Because whose war is any war anyway? So. Exactly. And I think that's very um, clever and really kind of draws you in to a moment because, as you said, we're looking at their emotional uh, kind of journey. And that journey, I think, is very human, you know, and having this range of feelings and um, reactions to different scenarios is is a lovely focus often the you know there's a kind of intention maybe we could say on telling the historical story and that's fine but as you said this is very different from that and this is about that emotional journey which you know immediately for me at least when i watched it, it kind of drew me in and say okay i can relate to that um and and sonia could you tell me a little bit about your relationship or your role within the work? Well, I was the actress and also directed, which is very difficult, um, but um, it was a very personal work, really, because I think Jaime, uh, when he wrote it, he was also thinking about me and about uh, my personal trip, mm -hmm. um, which is also within the play so it's not really two characters really it is one character that has multi personalities and that embraces uh the strong personality of gabriela who was a very um strong woman from a higher class uh level and with um, many inputs from the cultural uh, world in the Spain of that time and another woman that was uh, a more popular um, person you know like um, from just uh, a very small um, area this uh, Almeria's uh, village called Tijola and She's, she's um, also a strong woman, but coming from a very um, poor environment, uh, living in a cave um, with her husband, who she has just married. And then they have this uh, idea of, you know, making this trick so he doesn't have to go to, to the front, um, to, to the war and then they get caught um, so and this together with this uh whole process of blending the characters in another character that is the woman that we meet uh that comes um and it's in prison um this is the beginning you know of the play we are faced into a, a woman that's put into prison and is this a physical prison or a prison that it's more mental? So it was really um, fun <laughs> to uh, to produce this play, but at the same time, it was a very um, difficult task because it had many things that really touched me uh, personally because I was going also through a trip, um, a journey of just recently like not really finding out but just coming to um, a self um, settlement with my Roma um, identity because um, in my house this has never really been talked about it was like a taboo theme that um, you know, even when we asked when we were little and we would ask, are we Roma or are we not? Uh, you know, I remember my mother saying, well, do you want to be Roma or do you not want to be Roma? And I was like, okay, I can choose, you know, <laughs> then. 
um, I didn't want to be Roma because everything I heard about being Roma was very, very um, negative. Um, you know, I was, I was born in the 70s. Um, well, actually in 1970. <laughs> uh, and during that time here in Spain, we still had even um, laws that were against the Roma people. You know, and they were not abolished until uh, 1978. So, um, you know, of course, uh, and then always, you know, in TV and everywhere, you know, everything that you could hear was uh, really bad um, information or negative um, information about the Roma world. So it took me a long time. <laughs> Um, but um, I think it's been a really nice uh, journey, or it's been a really nice journey to discover our culture, to discover what's within the whole Andalusia, because I think um, many of us in Andalusia have a really big, strong Roma background to ourselves that probably we are not even aware of, you know. And, and I think that there's something quite, um, you know, this question around identity and coming to terms with a historical maybe gap in knowledge and then what is shared is very negative and there's a tension there. And so you as Sonia, as a woman, Roma woman, woman, uh, human are going through that but then also in the play you know there's there's a, a tension of coming through and being you know dealing with the situations in the in the in the historical kind of realities of the war and um but somehow there's a reconciliation in in there some way and and, and it's this is what is, i think it's so beautiful about the play that there is a reconciliation and also, you know, like um, like an understanding of, like I really loved uh, when I found out that Roma, because I was like, what what is this Roma thing? We never heard about this uh, here in Spain. Here it's Gitano, and that's it, you know. And then some people get really mad when you say Gitano somewhere, you know, around Europe or in the rest of the world. But here, uh, it doesn't have. For us, that that really negative um, connotation any longer. Um, but then, when I learned that Roma meant in Roman Romanist, it meant human being. I was like, oh, this is so beautiful, <laughs> you know, because this is what I think it is about. You know, we're all human beings. What does it matter whether you're um, coming from one place. I mean, this is the beautiful thing about it, you know, that you can embrace all kinds of inputs from many different cultures, different ways of looking at life and um, try to get the best out of um, them all. Exactly. And so we've heard a lot um, from your perspective, Sonia, as a director and actress and, and human uh, as a yeah. Rom in the in the work. Jaime, is there something that you'd like to add about the process of, you know, kind of writing about and, you know, a dramaturg kind of witnessing this reconciliation that the actors and that the work goes yeah. through? Is there a reflection? Well, um, I, I think it's uh, very important this uh, this uh, human profound dignity, especially in in, in this character, in this uh, Sonia's uh, character in the play. So, um, because the uh, the the, 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 audience. the audience, but. Uh, Everyone has, has um, a soul, uh, and I think uh, this is the uh, what is important for him or her. And this is the, uh, you are real uh, truth about 
human dignity. Mm -hmm. The found human dignity. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a story about Roma dignity, but also this is a universal. It's not only for Roma people, it's uh, for everyone because this is a human history. So this process is what is important because theater for me, especially for me, is communication mm -hmm. to, to, to approach ideas about uh, life or about uh, human uh, events or whatever. Also, this is what is important for me. And so can you talk, since we're on the, the topic of the title, can you tell me a little bit about the title and where that came from? Was it from the very beginning that you said, yes, this is the title? Or did that come as you were writing or as you were maybe uh, reflecting on the relationship with Sonia and Sonia's character? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, we, we work always uh, together. It's mm. not uh, only uh, about uh, my idea, original idea. It's not, uh, this is not our uh, 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 usual me method. So we work uh, always together. So when she proposed me this uh, uh, first uh, challenge, because it's a challenge for, for, for us, but especially for me, to write uh, about uh, um, these two strong, uh, very strong uh, Roma women, um, it's, uh, it's the beginning of a process about uh, in, to, to put inside me and it's very, very difficult. For me, it's very, very difficult to put uh, these uh, emotions and uh, it's not the life, it's the, 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 what these two strong women, these <laughs> strong Roma women are in uh, his... Uh, in her uh, in head because they are thinking and they are suffering and they are um, living their lives so in a historical very uh, hard circumstances yeah, everyone in different circumstances but they they are in, a, in two uh, moments very very uh, hard for uh, Spanish people in general, but especially for these two women. Mm. Because one is a, a very high class uh, woman with this, uh, is a friend of the, of the queen. queen or uh, the family is a very important family from uh, Toreros and uh, Tauromachia world. And so is a very particular, um, and significant uh, person. It's not uh, a, a regular person. It's not a regular person. But Emilia, the, the other one, is a very uh, regular person. It's a poor woman and it's a, it's a love story. It's, a, it's a very, very uh, sacrificed uh, uh, for, the, for, the, for the love. Mm. I think it's a, a love story. It's not another uh, question, but it's a very, very um, um, heavy love story because it's very difficult to uh, to entregar uh, la vida uh, to to, say, to die for save the love. Yes. And I also feel, you know, this theme about love, it's about love for someone else, but also love for oneself. That was something yes, that really yes. kind of kept, I kept feeling. Um, yeah, yeah. And it made me reflect a bit on, you know, what, what does love mean? And how, what are these various emotions and anger, you know, when we feel anger, why do we feel it so deeply? And because there's something profoundly kind of uh, primal in these these big emotions like anger, love, fear, 
um there's something you know like a child a child goes through so many feelings in one day and that's one of the things i loved about it is that i felt also like a child like permission to 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 feel these deep mm -hmm. things and not not be so sorry about that but you know yes she loves she loves with all of her hearts and she cries and she's angry and um and there's something very um important about that message that you can feel things quite profoundly and deeply um so, yeah and you have the right to feel exactly yeah. exactly yeah. exactly um is there something a memory that comes to mind maybe audience feedback or just yeah, yeah i'm sure there are many <laughs> but yeah so this show was uh, premiered in um the uh, second uh, roma heroes festival mm -hmm. at budapest in hungary yeah. so um, i was really 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 scared um, of how the audience um would um, react to this um because we tend to think that um you know that within a different culture, as could be the Hungarian culture, to us, to us Spaniards that are maybe, um, you know, on the outside, open and touchy, and, and there's a lot of this in the, in the performance, you know, touching the people, even, you know, throwing what things at them, and, um, getting really close, getting them to the stage. Um, so, I wasn't really sure how this was going to work. It was like walking on the edge of this knife the whole time. Mm -hmm. And to me, when I turned around the first time and I saw the audience inside, when I saw that the audience was right on the palm of my hand, <laughs> I could relax a little, maybe a little bit too much at some point, but um, because I'm very um, used to improvisation. Um, I do a lot of storytelling and many times it, you have this um, audience participation and this interaction with uh, the audience. And then uh, I had to keep in mind that we had uh, the their titles and then that we had someone translating into Hungarian uh, the test and this was like too much it was just um, but um, afterwards when we had uh, the talk uh, when we had this theater forum after the show and people had just become like one with with me and with the characters. This was really beautiful because this is what I think we always search and long for, you know, this communion with the audience and that yes. you feel like um, like they are part of the, of the pro project itself. <laughs> and this was really nice. It was really nice to, to understand that it's not about you know that we're not different in the inside that yeah. you know that we can have we can touch each other mm. you know not only physically but also emotionally yeah. and that was very nice for me at least yeah and you know i'm i'm in a way not surprised um because there's something as we've been talking about so um raw and so open about these feelings and the way that you communicate that on stage and um you know it, it doesn't need a language it's its own language those feelings and that that energy and that connection i'm you know it, it makes sense to me that relationship that you saying you created with the audience that they could follow you and i'm sure some people just maybe even took off the translation and were just following you because you know there's something quite i think inviting that you do on the stage to to bring people with you on this journey 
Um, and you te dejas la piel, you leave something there, yes. I had a teacher that told us that when we were directing a show, at one point we should think we were deaf and just look at it and see if we could understand what was going on just by watching. And that another time we should close our eyes and just listen to it mm. and see if we could understand it. And then when I came back from the US um, to Spain, it was exactly 1992 and it was the exhibition, the world exhibition here. And I was working um, in there and also I was able to watch so many plays from so many places. And I was so amazed that this was true, that you could watch a play that it was in a language that you did not understand at all, not even one word, <laughs> that you could understand what was going on when it, when the play was, you know, done in a way that communicated what it wanted to communicate. So yeah. if we uh, achieve that, I mean, <laughs> this is um, to me very, very, um, nice and important because uh, you know this is a very small uh, budget um, sure. performance um, and done in many in very difficult uh, circumstances um, because here um, well uh, you might know you are also from Andalusia but uh, things are very hard um, down here and so yeah. It's um, it's good that we can come uh, with. It's not about money. It's sure. about you know communicating, as Jaime was yeah. saying, you yeah. know, being able to communicate um, what you want to communicate. And for you, Jaime, is there anything that you'd like to communicate on a memory or something that you uh, recall from? the performances or any in the writing or was there moments when you were watching it and thinking oh yes <laughs> <laughs> well um, sometimes in the, in the Budapest premiere was uh, amazing to see uh, the audience or uh, with this um, way to, to <laughs> To, to, to be in the world so very, very, uh, I don't know, cold is the, perhaps the, the word, but I don't know, but it's very, very special because we have this uh, way to uh, to move the hands or to <laughs> press. Or, very different, different. And, and, but at the end of the performance, uh, was a very very special moment because all the uh, the people there was uh, there we are uh, very very uh, impassioned uh, very hot uh, very <laughs> you know this expression about what uh, was very very important for me. Mm. I think uh, theater is is action. Mm -hmm. So uh, when when Sonia is on stage with this play, is uh, always uh, a, a very special uh, moment for me because it's uh, it's the life, you know. This is not uh, it's not a, a usual moment in the life of this character. Or, Mm. No, is the the soul of these characters mm. is uh, is is very difficult to express uh, this character. This only one character about two women, but to uh, to get another superior and emotional fictional character is very difficult to to get this position on a stage. Yes. So when when I saw in Budapest this uh, roller ball, Montaña Rusa, sí. about emotions, yes. 
was incredible because when you are writing a text, you know the difficult the difficult the difficulties this text has. And it's very, very difficult to imagine this text on a stage. Yes. Because yes. it's a very, very uh, exigent for the actress in this case. Mm. Yes. This kind of text. It was really funny when um, I was learning the, the test. Yes. <laughs> um, I would ask my kid, my oldest uh, kid, to run the lines with me. And he was like, but mommy, this is random. <laughs> this doesn't have any meaning. This is, how do you remember what goes first and what goes afterwards? This doesn't make any sense. And this also was a challenge, you know? Yes, because... Because we, it did make sense, but, but it is, um, you it's know... It's a surrealistic tradition sense. Sure. It's, our our uh, uh, way to 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 feel well the language yeah that's yeah it's, it's, because no matter how we how much we try not to have a surrealistic um, <laughs> approach to a work at the end almost everything that we have done um, has this like label of being a little bit crazy and yes because surrealism is not uh, for me it's impossible to have a pretension of surrealism mm -hmm. surrealism is a consequence it's a result right. it's, it's life <laughs> it's a different <laughs> way to to life no? yeah. and so on this point about uh, you know this text and the feelings and the kind of um highs and lows or ebb and flow of the of the work is there a message that you want people to know about the work is there something very specific that you want people to remember about the work it can be anything why you you did it or what's the message or just something specific around surrealism and and yeah to me it is a piece um it is about peace and about um you know being in peace with yourself also mm. and mm. you know not getting into um this this um out the outside um, stuff that runs you into fighting with each other or to being in conflict um, that you know when you achieve this um, this peace within yourself then you can have this self-respect this dignity this profound uh, peace and that you can all embrace you know that you can embrace the others mm. and yourself yes that's what's important um, to me in the play yes okay. yes i agree with sonia this is a uh, uh, main the main question is it's about uh, to rec recognize uh, uh, in myself this uh, piece, this human, uh, this uh, human being. Mm. Yes. And also because these are two Roma women, what's important for me also is that, you know, because in the process of, right. of making someone, uh, you know, the goatscape, we dehumanize mm. um, the people. Yeah. And this is um, what's important, you know, to see it is there are human beings behind these uh, characters. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that you know that it could be anyone. Yeah. Another detail about uh, the two women is uh, they choose. They are not in in a river. That is a, a 
fluid, fluid and there, no? Yeah, it's not fluid, too... just moving, yeah, fluid. They choose, mm -hmm. every one of, of, of them uh, choose uh, his uh, her, her, her future. Yeah, they, well, I would say that they take decisions, yes. they, they choose, they, but they really... Decide. Yeah, it's not this, the circumstances are, sure. are the verified, same. but they are in conscience and they could... Uh, yeah, have taken another decision. Yes. They're faced with a very difficult decision, both of them, yes. and both of them take the decision that self respects themselves. Yes, the dignity road. They yes. choose the dignity road. Yes, yes. And I think there's, you know, we started the conversation with talking about, you know, war and that there's no one's really a war, but wars happen and, and kind of reflecting a little bit on that. And so it's a lovely kind of full circle um thinking about decisions that people make and you know I, I i believe that people don't say i'm going to make a bad decision today no. you make a decision and it happens to maybe not be the best one but you you know if you're true and as you said if you're the dignity if you maintain that dignity with the decision and know why you did it then you can continue and as maybe it evolves or as the life happens, you can then maintain other decisions. And it's not about this kind of binary of good or bad or right and wrong, but the, it's a flow and it's, it's, um, there's a, a human side to that. And that it's not about um, one emotion, but the range of emotions. And I, you know, I really see that in, in the work that it's about all of it. And, you know, Sonia, you said earlier that one of your message uh, messages is mm -hmm. to um, about peace and that people, you hope that people see that this is also about peace. And, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that's a lovely message to us as we come out of COVID, as, you know, theaters are opening, as the yeah. world is kind of still dealing with this crisis. Um, that all of this chaos we still have a choice in finding that peace and finding some profound kind of to, to make a decision on how we want to be in the chaos and so i, I you know i thank you for that because I, I feel that that's really important right now that even though we can't control the circumstances or the environment we have a, a, a we still have a choice in there. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and I, I know that that's also true for, for Roma, you know, as a community, we're very resilient. We're very um, in the moment as well. And people don't always see that. Or if they do, there's a bit of threatened by that kind of ability to just be in the moment or to be in the feelings. So um, I think the, the work has so many layers to it that speaks to so many different sides of ourselves, our psyche, our bodies, our world. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you for sitting down and sharing with us and helping us peel the layers back to the profunda dignitatis. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.